a sound not usually heard in the desert. This is the Arrub al Khali or the empty quarter, the world's largest sand desert. And now in the middle of this an ambitious project harnessing that which is so plentiful to produce something so scarce. A desalination plant that is run on the rays of the sun and can produce about 6000 gallons of water a day. This is the first of 22 solar powered desalination plants set up by the Environment Agency in Abu Dhabi. The aim of this particular plant is to help conserve the Arabian oryx, an endangered species that was once extinct in these regions, but now thanks to water supplied by this plant has been reintroduced into this desert. The UAE's oryx conservation story is a fascinating one. In 1968, fearing its extinction, His Highness the late Sheikh Zayed ordered that the oryx be bred in captivity. A few decades later, these oryx were reintroduced into the wild. But for them to survive and continue to breed, it was important to provide them food and water. But the environmental costs of transporting fresh water to the desert was too high, and so the first ever solar desalination plant was created. This is environmental friendly system that we are not producing any carbon emissions it is there is no carbon footprint and also we as you we are we, there is no any impact on the desert area we are in an arid area and the desert area and there is it is like a protected area so there is no damage for the desert here All the water from the desalination plant we just saw is collected into this lake making it a favorite watering hole for local animals like the Arabian oryx and gazelles after we are providing them with water and the food there's a number of animals increase and also not only in the arabian oryx but also the gazelles and other uh, animals like rabbits and other things today this area known as umal zumul is home to 155 arabian oryx however apart from helping wildlife these desalination plants are also an interesting model for a country that works up a huge carbon footprint in its quest for clean water the only hitch is the high cost of running them This is a pilot project, but after the improving it and increasing the efficiency and the minimizing the capital cost in the future and the operational cost, this could be applicable for on a lar large scale or commercial scale that it can serve the communities in the desert or in remote areas where there, there is no water or there is no electricity, of course. Over the next few years, the Abu Dhabi Environment Agency plans to operate at least 30 desalination plants, all to be used for wildlife conservation. Priyanka Dutt, Emirates 24/7.